I offer my humble pranam at the Lotus Peter Bhagavan Sri Satya Sai Baba. Welcome to video lecture on assembly language programming in 808 by microprocessor. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to explain how to write a program to add two 8-bit uh, BCD number and store in the two consecutive memory location. In the previous video lecture, I explained how to add two 8-bit hexadecimal number or two 8-bit uh, binary number. Uh, in this lecture, I'm going to explain how to add two BCD number, binary coded uh, decimal number, so like a normal uh, addition. Uh, suppose if you go for an hexadecimal addition, you know that a 9 plus 1, uh, you won't get 10, you'll get A. Suppose if we add 9 plus 5, uh, we'll get 9 plus uh, 6, we'll get uh, uh, F, not 15. But in this case, in this uh, uh, program, I'm going to uh, store the result in uh, in, the, in the form of decimal, that is like a uh, decimal form, binary coded decimal form. I'm going to explain that program first. Okay, uh, that is how to add two BCD uh, number. Okay, uh, here this is a program to add two 8 bit BC number. Uh, just you can compare with the previous program, uh, like uh, how to add two 8 bit uh, hexadecimal number or binary number. The same thing, uh, but here uh, we have to use DAA, that is a decimal adjust after addition. Uh, the, the meaning of this instruction is that is a decimal a decimal decimal adjust after after addition after addition that is the meaning of this instruction that is DAA DA stands for decimal adjust after addition a decimal adjust accumulator it's also called decimal adjust accumulator we have to use DAA instruction after add instruction only that's a condition and one more condition is we are talking about binary coded decimal number that is 25h we have to write in hexadecimal only like 25h 47h means you can give any input from 00, 0 to 99 you are not supposed to give any character like a b b c d e that is nothing but a character it's not a, a digit okay a binary coded decimal number means anything from 0 to 9 for those numbers, we can call it a BCD number. Therefore, whenever giving the input, that input must be uh, starting from 0, 0 to 99. You are not supposed to give any other number like uh, a 2A or BC or AF or something like that. It is not allowed. Only uh, BCD number, anything from 0, 0 to 99. Then add B, normal addition instruction. But after add B, we have to use DAA instruction. Therefore, it's going to convert uh, that uh, hexadecimal result to a decimal form. Now just I'm going to explain with some example here. I consider four combinations. That is here, uh, yes, you can see one thing, both are input, that's both are uh, decimal only, 25, 43, uh, 25, 45, here 56, 63, 89, 56. Therefore, you can use any combination from 00, 0 to 99, but you are not supposed to use any characters here. Suppose if you try to write something 2A or BC or FF, that is invalid because there is not a a decimal number okay then after addition after adding these uh, numbers uh, there will be chance of getting four possible outcomes so here both are digit 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 character character digit and character 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 in the sense anything from a through f digit means anything from 0 to 9 therefore here both are digit here G digit character here character digit and both are characters then this is the output of after add instruction, after add instruction, uh, after add B instruction, after add instruction, uh, there will be chance of getting this possible output. But uh, if we use DAA, means internally it's going to adjust. So DAA depends upon uh, actually carry flag and carry flag as well as uh, the character here. Okay. Now here uh, 68. Okay. Now here 5 plus 3, 8, 4 plus 2, 68. Therefore, uh, there is no character. Therefore, if it is the case, actually it is going to add 0, 0 here. So 0, 0, uh, therefore 0, 0 here, 0, 0, then output is 68. Therefore, the output is uh, 68 here. The accumulator becomes 68. Okay, no change. It is as it is. So there is no problem at all. Okay, uh, but here in the remaining cases, if you come to this, uh, 68, because therefore uh, after execution of DAA, uh, just uh, it's going to add 0, 0, then 68 itself. That's a final output because we know 5 plus 3, 8, 4 plus 2, 6. That is correct answer only. That is in the decimal form. But if you come to this 25 plus 45, 5 plus 5, 
ten in decimal. Uh, but uh, actually, all computer add everything in terms of binary or hexadecimal addition. Five plus five ten means a. Four plus two six six a. Then the after executing the instruction, if it is digit character, it's going to add zero six. Okay, to convert this into actual form. Therefore, here ten plus six. Ten plus six nothing but sixteen in decimal. The hexadecimal equivalent of sixteen is one zero. Uh, so zero is the sum and one is the carry. Six plus one seven seventeen. Therefore, you can add now five plus five ten. Ten means zero. One carry four plus two six plus one seven seventy is the answer. Therefore, after DAA, we will get correct adjusted uh, decimal answer. Otherwise, uh, if we try to check the output without DAA instruction, we will get six A. But uh, if you go for a normal person, they can't understand a uh, six A. They feel it's something answer is wrong. Therefore, internally you have to write a program in such a way that after adding two decimal number, we have to get decimal output. That's why the DA will take care to adjust. It is going to convert from this form to uh, this form. Okay. So next, one more example that is fifty six sixty three. Ah, uh, six plus three nine and uh, six plus five is eleven means B. B nine is the answer after addition instruction. Then if we try to use DA instruction, what happen? Because here character, here digit. The first one to add six zero. If you add six zero nine plus zero nine, here b uh, b means eleven eleven plus six seventeen seventeen in decimal. Uh, that is equal to one one in hexadecimal. Therefore, one is the sum and carries one. One is the sum and carries one. Carry flag is set. Okay, I have to preserve this carry also. Okay, now here, uh, what is the sum of these two number? We know that six plus three is nine. Of uh, six plus five is eleven. Eleven means one is the sum and one is the carry. The total answer is one nineteen. That is a correct output. Okay, that is adjusted output. This also correct in terms of hexadecimal. But if we uh, because we are going to write the program for layman, the layman can't understand what is this answer. Okay, that's why as an engineer you can understand. Okay, it's hexadecimal number system. Okay, the answer is correct. But uh, if you give it uh, the same uh, program. Uh, for a what do you call the layman, he can't understand. He feels something wrong with the output. Okay, that's why I have to adjust by using appropriate instruction. Then the last case is 8956. If you try to add these two number, we'll get the character DF. Both are character. If both are character, it adds 66. Okay, both are digit 00. Here digit character uh, 06. Character digit 60. Both are character 66. Means wherever character is there, it's going to add 6 to that particular character. It is going to adjust in that way. Now here, ah, uh, fifteen plus six. F means fifteen. Fifteen plus six is nothing but twenty-one. Then if we convert that into hexadecimal, we'll get one six. Six is the sum, and one is the carry. D is what? Ah, uh, thirteen. Thirteen plus fourteen. Ah, uh, thirteen plus one carry fourteen. Fourteen plus six. Okay, that is nothing but twenty. Twenty in decimal. The hexadecimal equivalent of twenty is four. One four. Four is the sum, and one is the carry. That is nothing but one forty-five. Is the answer. We can add directly nine plus six. Is nothing but fourteen. Ah, uh, sorry, nine plus six, nothing but fifteen. Now fifteen means five is the sum and uh, one is the carry. Eight plus five is nothing but ah uh, thirteen. Thirteen plus previous carry that is fourteen. Uh, Four is the sum and one is the carry. What is the final answer? One forty-five. Here, when I'm writing the uh, program, I have to consider carry also. Okay. Now here, ah, uh, this is the complete program. Move immediate A comma twenty-five and move immediate B comma forty-three. If I add this to number add B, then 68. There is no problem at all. But if you go for rest of the cases, uh, it's going to adjust. The adjusted data will be in accumulator. Means after add B, then only have to use DAA instruction. Then store the lower order byte in 8900. Then clear accumulator. Add with carry. Therefore, I'm going to consider carry also. If carry flag is set, A becomes one. If carry flag is reset, A becomes one. The store that the higher order sum in next immediate location eight nine zero one and then stop. Okay, understood this? Any doubts here? Or just I'm going to uh, give the demo for uh, uh, this particular uh, program. Okay, now I'm going to explain the program here. I'm going to explain the program. I'm going to execute the program now. Uh, here already entered the program into the read-write memory exam memory eight thousand. The starting address of the program is eight thousand. Here, this is the code for move immediate A, 25 first number. Then move immediate B, 06. Data is 47. Uh, then 80 add B. Then 27 is the code for DAA decimal adjust after addition. 
the code for DA is 27, then STA 32, then 00, zero low order address, 89 harder address, then 3 movie immediate A, then 00, zero clear accumulator, 8F add with carry A, ADCA, that's the code for ADCA, then 32, the code for STA, 01 is a low order address, 89 is the order address, then stop. Okay. Then you have to check the output in the memo location 8900. Then here, let it be 0 here, then 0 before execution. Go 8000, 8000. Then execute exam memory 8900. Okay, 72. See, we know that uh, input is 2547. 2547 is what? That is 7 plus 5 is 12. 12 means 2. And 1 is carry 4 plus 2, 6 plus 1, 7. 17, 2 is the lower sum. The next harder sum is 0, 0. Suppose I will give some other data, 8,000. 8, Here the first data, let it be 99. The second data is 99. Okay, 99 plus 99, we know that 198. Okay, therefore, exam uh, go 8,000 starting address of the program, then execute. Exam memory 8900. See, one minute. Exam memory 8900. 98. So next is 101. We have to write like this. That is 1 here, 98. 198. That is 99 plus 99, 198. Suppose I'm going to give one more example. Therefore, exam memory 8000 starting at the program. Next 3, then 99. Instead of 99, I'm going to give something like a, a 25, the first number. Then second number is also let be 25. Say so 25, 25 actually it becomes 4A. 4A because of DAA instruction, the sum becomes 50. Okay. Then uh, go starting address of the program, execute exam memory 8900. Uh, here 50 is the answer. The harder sum is 0. Okay. Now this is the way of adding two BCD number. You can give any number from 00, 0 to 99. I will get correct uh, BCD sum. Okay. Any doubts here? Okay. Now, this is the way of writing the program to add to 8 bit BCD number with the help of a DAA instruction. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.